up everybody it's your boy AJ Spade and today I'm gonna do something a little bit different something that I don't normally do but it's a major part of my life if you can't tell it is you know and also I like to fight it's a thing it's a thing people but I'm gonna be talking about uh, raw cuz I watched raw and yeah with this new era of Raw, I'm actually starting to enjoy Raw more. No lie. So, we're going to talk about it for a couple seconds, a little minutes, and then, you know. But, Raw, it was pretty good today. I wish, I wish, I could have saw more Kevin Owens. That is a good reason to check into Raw. Kevin Owens. He was at the beginning. He was just talking on on the on the announcer's table. But I'd like to see matches with Kevin Owens. And um it started off with, with Enzo and and Jericho, a little back and forth. It was pretty funny. I like Enzo, Enzo's cool. I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but pretty much every person on Raw not everyone but pretty much everyone was wearing red and black everybody's attire is now changed to red and black I know you're trying to represent Raw and that's all well and good but why is everyone's attire the same exact color as I saw Rusev okay for one Mark Henry stop it just stop it it's done and over it's finished just be a mentor and mentor people so I'm really tired of seeing you lose matches that you should have won a thousand times over and Rusev he beat you and he's beat you tons of times every time you say I'm doing this for America Rusev steps on your back and then makes you tap out and I'm tired of seeing it it's done it's over it's like Big Show also rooting for America and then tapping out to Rusev so enough of that but yeah the, the red and black thing okay I saw Rusev he's wearing red and black I'm pretty sure Mark Henry was wearing red and black also but then Roman Reigns came out now Roman Reigns I'm really liking the whole new whole new beard thing you can't check it out I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of growing my beard in kind of liking Roman Reigns with his with his full beard it kind of sounded like people were cheering him, too. they usually booing him. I'm not sure. That's what it sounded like. Maybe it's because Rusev was in the ring. He was boring everybody with his talking. But it sounds like they were cheering him. But Roman Reigns came out. He was also wearing red and black. This dude does not normally have the vest that's black with the red stripes. That's not normally what he does. But he was also wearing red and black. Everybody, even Brock Lesnar, had a red and black shirt on. Everybody was rocking red and black. Now, come on. People got their own colors. Just let them wear their own colors. They don't have to represent Raw. We're watching Raw already. We know Raw is red and black. And SmackDown is boom and black. This is starting to sound like Chicago with gang wars now stop it enough colors just wear whatever color you want everybody don't have to wear red and black that's just my rant about colors for a second but yeah but yeah Roman Reigns he did Superman punch off the off the steps that was pretty cool and I don't know if he's going for the United States title now because they also had the, the I guess future number one contender match against Cesaro and Sheamus which was also a good match I really like Cesaro Cesaro is really good and he was also wearing red and black but Cesaro is really good I think he if anybody is to hold the United States title and have good matches as a champion I think it should be Cesaro I also think on the other hand if they're gonna go down this route and not just make it a pointless thing that Roman Reigns came out there Roman Reigns could build up his career better 
as the United States champion. I know that some people would say that's a step down from being the world champion, but come on, it's a new era. You gotta think different. John Cena took the United States title, and you know, people loved it. He did the challenge every week. Roman Reigns can do the exact same thing. He can do a challenge every week. But I don't know if he wants to copy that. But anyway, you got to defend that title. Because I don't know. Rusev does not. He doesn't really defend the title that much. Like, I think the last person he defended against before Mark Henry was um, Zack Ryder. Like, really? Come on. But, like I was saying, John Cena, he had his challenge every week. United States Open Challenge. People enjoyed it. It made the United States title up here, right next to the World Championship, you know. But now the United States title is kind of dropping, and now we got this new Universal Championship that we don't know nothing about, haven't seen yet. I hope it don't look stupid. It sounds stupid because the name, but maybe it'll look cool. I don't know. But yeah, if they give it to Roman Reigns, do something with him. Everybody wants Roman Reigns to turn heel. If you got the United States title, I don't know if exactly if he would turn heel, but he got the beard to be heel. Just let the man be heel. And why is he still coming in to the Shield music? He already stopped coming through the through the crowd. You can change the man's music, change his attire, because I'm tired of seeing him in the vest. I, this this dude is ripped. Like, you got everybody else coming out. And then you got Roman Reigns in his vest all the time. I'm pretty sure he's tired of wrestling in that stupid vest. Because it don't look like it breathes at all. Uh, that's just my rant about the stupid vest. But, yeah. Um, trying to think what else happened. It was a mixed tag match at the beginning. You know, Sasha Banks. She is the boss. They have pretty good matches. Her and Charlotte always have pretty good matches. And I'm really tired of Dana Brooke. She's just pointless. She's pointless, pointless. Like, if she'd have stayed out of that match, it would have ended and it would have been a good match. But she interfered and it ended stupid. Like always. And then you have... Who else we got? We got uh, Finn Balor. You know, the jacket man. He loves that jacket now. I'm I'm kind of wondering, you know, him and Seth Rollins are going for the belt at SummerSlam. I'm kind of wondering if he's going to paint it up for SummerSlam. Because that would be freaking awesome. Uh, his first WWE pay-per-view, like actual on main roster pay-per-view. He comes in there, wins the title. Finn Balor wins the title, and he's all painted up in the demon. I don't know what they're going to do with the club, because they kind of lost very stupidly. Uh, yeah, because they, I think, Big E just rolled them up, and it was one, two, three, real quick. And then they beat New Day up afterwards. I don't know if they're going to hand off the titles to them. Now, what would be awesome is if at SummerSlam, they won the tag team titles, then help Finn Balor win the world title, and then drop the stupid club thing and just became the Balor Club. Because he's really repping that Balor Club thing. He's really repping it. And, like, it's even just his Titantron. It just says Balor Club. You got to do something with that. You just can't be... Balor Club and nothing. Where's your club at, man? They right there in the back. Just called the club. Just put Balor on the front of it. The Balor Club. Boom! You got yourself a team. And then they can be champions and they can run raw. They can run raw. Now we're going to see Brock Lesnar. We saw Brock Lesnar and we probably won't see him again until SummerSlam. Oh, he might show up on SmackDown. I don't know. Haven't watched SmackDown yet. I'm a little late in the game. So I watch everything on Hulu because I don't got cable because cable is pointless when you got Hulu and Netflix. So I kind of watch things on the day after, you know. So I'm a little late on all this. But 
it don't matter. I'll watch SmackDown later, and then maybe I'll talk about SmackDown if SmackDown's good. And I did love the surprise at the end with Randy Orton, RK Owen, Brock Lesnar. That was cool. I even watched it twice, the end part, to see him do it again because I wasn't paying attention the first time because it came out of nowhere, like always. But we love to see Randy Orton. Too bad he's only on SmackDown. And I'm glad he's back. Yeah. And that was pretty much raw in my aspect. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do with Braun Strowman. I'm really mad that they just took him and put him on Raw. Instead of just... I don't, that, I don't know if that's a SmackDown rant that I want to do about the Wyatt family. I'll save that for over there. Or SmackDown with the Wyatt family and Bray Wyatt. But Ron Strowman's over here on Raw by itself, all lonely, beating up jobbers. I don't know what they're going to do with him. I don't know if they have a plan for him or what. Mm. Who knows? That's enough of Ron Strowman. Yeah, so that's Raw. Mm, Raw was good. I'm starting to like Raw again. Because it was dying off for a while, getting boring and stale. But now it's coming back. I'm bringing new things, new flavor. Stephanie McMahon and Mick Foley, shout out. Shout out to you. And whoever else is writing your scripts. But anyway, that was Raw. I enjoyed Raw. If you saw Raw and you enjoyed Raw and you're starting to like Raw, tell me what was your favorite part about Raw. I'm going to keep saying Raw. Tell me a bunch of stuff that that you liked and what you didn't like about Raw. Or maybe you don't like the new era. Maybe you think it's stupid. Maybe you, yeah, maybe that. I know everybody thinks the name of the title is stupid, but maybe it'll look cool. Or whatever. If you heard something about it, let me know. If you like this, like it, subscribe, comment. Make this a community. We can talk about, we can talk about some wrestling. Because I love wrestling. It is my second life. But that's all I got for Raw. I enjoyed it. I hope they keep it up. I hope they can stay strong with Raw. And I hope SmackDown can also follow along with it. And also be good. And we can have some good wrestling again. Please. Please. But like always. i catch you guys later. See you on the flip side. Cause I'm out, I'm out, I'm out.